Hey everyone and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handheld. In this guide, we're going to be installing Ryujinx for reasons. And it's a Nintendo Switch emulator for your Windows PC and some other operating systems. But this guide will be focused around Windows. To start, head to ryujinx.org slash download. And it'll also be in the video description. Click download under the Windows logo. Go ahead and save the zip file anywhere you like, it doesn't really matter. Now you want to extract that zip file, and this folder will contain the program that you'll always be launching, so feel free to put it anywhere on your PC for where you keep your normal things. Head inside the extracted folder and then open ryujinx.exe. That's the actual emulator, and what you'll be using to get inside the program to play games. You might get a Windows protection pop-up, but just allow it. Keep in mind as well that there will be a command prompt that shows up for Ryujinx, so just feel free to minimize it if it gets annoying to you. In Ryujinx, the first thing that we want to do is add our prod.keys file and update the firmware. Unfortunately, for legal reasons, as I'm sure you could tell, I can't show you either of those things. But to do so when you have them, head to File and open the Ryujinx folder, head to System, and then this is where you want to add your prod.keys file. Now in Ryujinx, head to Tools, Install Firmware, and then Install Firmware from Zip, since that's how I have my actual firmware file. Find it and select it and it'll ask you if you want to continue, then just click OK. Now we need to add our actual games, and fair warning again, I'm using my legally backed up Nintendo Switch games here, and I can't share with you how or where to get games. But when you do get your games, head to Settings, and then under Game Directories, click Add. Navigate to the folder that has your Switch ROMs, and select that folder. Click Apply and then OK, and you should now see all of your games populating or populated. Now let's look at adding updates and DLC. Let's start with updates. Right click the game that you want to add your update file to, and then select Manage Title Updates. Navigate to your update file and select it. Now select the actual update and then click save to apply it. For DLC, it's the exact same. Right click the game and select manage DLC. Navigate to your DLC files and then select them. Now select either Enable All, or you can select each individual DLC that you want to enable, and then click Save. Then, of course, we want to configure our controller. I have an Xbox Series S controller connected right now, so head to Settings, then Input on the left, and by default it's just not showing my controller, but it's showing the keyboard. Change Input Device from All Keyboards to whichever controller you have connected. Then change controller type to Pro Controller. Feel free to remap the buttons if you'd like, but the standard works for me. For tweaks and other changes, head to Settings, Graphics, and you can change some things here. Feel free to play around with the graphics backend between Vulkan and OpenGL for some games. You also want to make sure that your preferred GPU is correct so it's using your dedicated graphics card if you have one, like I do. You can also upscale the resolution scale here if you have a higher resolution monitor, although it might be tough for some games on performance. Another setting that you probably want to change, from the main Ryujinx window, select Options, and then Start Games in Full Screen Mode. Now, one thing you might be wondering is how do you enable handheld mode, especially if you have a lower powered computer? Head to Settings, Input, and change Player to Handheld.
You can now see docked mode checked at the bottom, and I would read the notice by hovering over it to understand what you're doing and how to do it if you disable this. By unchecking it, you're disabling dock mode, and you're enabling handheld mode. And that's it! Enjoy playing your legally backed up Nintendo Switch games. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow, and hope you all have a good one!